Yo. So if you're a subscriber to my channel, you're probably thinking, why is this guy reviewing shoes on his channel instead of doing the uh, other type of stuff he usually does? The reason why, last week, I wanted to buy this pair of shoes that just dropped and I couldn't find anything on YouTube um, with a description of them. Uh, so here we go. Uh, and for anybody who's interested in buying these shoes, I know you're happy to see this. Check them out. This is the uh, Merrill Hydromach Ripstop AT1TRL. Um, I'm not the type to ever buy these shoes. This summer, a friend of mine was like, yo, you got to try these Hydromachs. And I looked at them and I was like, they're cool, but uh, I'm probably not going to ever buy a pair. And then I saw these last week with a little sock in there. AT stands for all terrain. So they're made for all terrain. Um, they're way more technical than the normal Hydromox. And this is something I'm into. Uh, so I picked up a pair. I just took them out the box earlier today. I've been walking around the house with them and I love them. Wheezy, we're doing a little shoe review, all right? Cool. So, um, the typical Hydromox are just this kind of like plasticky stuff. I don't know, rubbery stuff without all the extra here. Um, these ones have a strap in the back to like stabilize this back part. Velcro, uh, they got these to tighten them up because they don't have laces. And this inner sock that comes out Actually, you know what? I wore these on them on their own and they're really cool. They're like kind of cool ninja type shoes. These on their own are comfortable. Um, so this is the shoe without the insert. And uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. What I like about these is I go camping a lot. I'm outside a lot in the summer. I could go in water with these. They're easy to clean. Uh, you know, I could just wet them get all the dirt off, put my foot back in, go back inside. Comfortable too, these things are super comfortable. I'm sure everybody who's watching this is already a fan of Hydromox and already knows how comfortable these are, but I'm new to these and they're really good. I'm actually thinking about buying a pair without the sock, the regular Hydromox. Um, so yeah, here's a look at them. They're good, they're dope, they're fresh. Uh, maybe I'll do a little dance and uh, show you what they look like when you're dancing in them. It's a good thing I don't do shoe reviews often because I'm realizing I don't have proper lighting in my house to review shoes. Uh, so this is what they look like on my feet in a poorly lit bedroom um, while walking around and possibly doing a little dance. Let's check it out. Check me out walking. Da -da -da, just walking, you know, gonna go do some groceries in my bedroom. Gonna go walk around a little bit and then like, oh, what? Is it time to do some dancing? Oh. And yeah, okay, so that's what they look like dancing. Check this out though. Take them off. And like, they look really cool like this. I like this. I like these, I could wear them like this. And they even have like this little sole down there that it's kind of not hard but it's like it's tough it's rugged you could go outside with these like this so that's it the Merrill Hydromach AT 1TRL I think they're really good I love them here's the catch they came out in four colors beige green black and white the only ones that came out in men's were black and white in Canada, I think in the States too. The only ones that came out in men's were black and white. The green and the beige and black and white came out in women's. This is beige, okay? It was a little bit beiger on the website. This is more of a green, but I think the actual green is like a darker green. Um, all the men's sizes were sold out unless, you, unless you're like 13 or seven. Uh, and I wanted this color anyway, so I bought the women's size 11, which translates to a men's size nine and a half. I'm a men's 10. These are a little snug, but they fit fine. Like, uh, I'm not complaining. And now on the site, there's hardly any of these left. 
I called Merrill and asked them if they plan on restocking men's sizes and or reissuing these women's ones and they said no but who knows maybe two months like I don't know, I think these just got on the site a few days ago and they're almost all gone. So I have a feeling they're gonna come back out. There's a black pair of Gore-Tex ones that are really dope too. But for now, I got these women's size 11. They fit me well. So if you're a men's size 10, pick up a women's size 11. If there's any left, they'll fit you a little snug, but whatever. So yeah, they're good. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, it has absolutely nothing to do with shoe reviews. But uh, as you could tell, I'm a fabulous person and you wanna see me do things. So check out all the other things I do on my channel and uh, you're gonna fall in love with me just like my cat did. Um, that's that, peace. Also to the small handful of people who already do subscribe to my channel and you're wondering why I haven't uploaded any videos in a long time. Uh, I've been sleeping on the channel a little bit, but I've been taking tons of footage. I have like 15, 16 episodes that I need to edit that I will get done in the next month and a half, something like that, two months max. And with very shortly, I'll be releasing weekly episodes. I did a lot of fun stuff this summer. Episodes are gonna be dope. Um, I got a lot of plans for this winter. They are coming. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll be dropping new episodes very soon. Peace.